What's up guys, it's Avery. It is this beautiful, beautiful morning here in Denmark and I figured I should just sit down and talk to you about some recent stuff I bought. It's all on the bed back there. How do I even start this? I guess one of the most common questions that I get from you guys on social media across all my platforms is kind of something like where do you buy your clothes, where do you shop, what stores are your favorite, do you buy from brands directly, local, whatnot. And a lot of it is via the second hand. And that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean thrift stores as it does include it. But I have a bunch of stuff back here, right here today, sitting back there. And it's all from Grailed that I've gotten here in Denmark, in Copenhagen, in Copenhagen the past few months. Oh my goodness, what is coming out of my mouth? And when I was looking at all of these items from Grailed, which by the way, if you guys aren't familiar, is a peer-to-peer -peer secondhand service, secondhand service, where you guys can sell like designer wear or basics, pretty much everything in between, but is... Uh, mainly focused on like collectible items, things that you're really hunting after, um, especially when it comes to their content that they write about too. Uh, but anyway, when I was looking at these pickups, they just like magically split into these three categories for me to lay out to you, which goes hand in hand with how I shop and what I look for when I'm on a service such as Grailed. And I don't know, it just like worked out. The first item that you guys will see represents basics that you can get for a fraction of the price. Then a step up from that, there is new age designer wear that you can pretty much get brand new with tags or at least very, very close to new as their recently released items for far under retail. So stuff that you've been eyeing for a while uh, that you don't want to spend retail on, but now you can get it from another user. And then the third and final thing is more of like artisanal pieces that have this certain level of collectability to them that either you're on the hunt for for a long time or you're in love with that collection or whatnot and you have your eyes dead set on it or I have my eyes dead set on it uh, for an example. So I think that's the perfect way to just work your way up and just three areas that I always look for. Because starting off with the first item, I should run back and get it, not prepared for you guys at all, is this Dickies work shirt and it's such a Mmm, perfect example because Kaylee and I, while we were in Denmark, her last trip here, her last visit, we uh, kind of spent a day traveling around the city and we had this huge hunt for uh, a Dickies work shirt, the original fit, size large, maybe even one up from there. And we were looking for it for probably like, it would have been 55, 60, 65 dollars here in Denmark. And we were so excited about it that we were gonna make a vlog about finding them, bejeweling them, shopping in Copenhagen, all this different stuff. Here in my garage, just bought this brand, brand new Lamborghini here. And what I decided to do was after we miserably failed. Cute. Here in the city, I decided to look on Grail that day and I legitimately typed in the product and they're just happened to be the perfect size, the original fit, not the slim fit, in this black little cotton twill work shirt right here, just like that old township of brick one. And I don't know, this one's gonna be just like a ton of fun. I mean, look how uncentered this tag is back here, but it doesn't matter. Also the tag below, just like I did with my chef pants, you can just take a seam ripper and pop that off depending on your style. But this item right here is just a great blank canvas. Uh, if you wanna like swap one of the buttons for like a jewel, or if you want to go crazy with graphics, want to paint, want to do anything, uh, or just style it super plain. Uh, it's just something that like goes from skater to workwear to like that blue collar look, Kiko Kostadinov, all this different stuff. And this little guy was $23 shipped. Much better than paying at 70 here in Copenhagen. Oh my goodness, that didn't even make it close. So yeah, killer, a basic fraction of the price. Beautiful, can't complain at all. Next up on the second level, that whole designer level goods that recently released and you can finally get them from under retail for a good price. This is, I think I just said from under retail, for under retail. This item right here, these Comme des Garcons Homme Plus shorts are just the perfect example, or at least I think so. So I'm really excited to share them with you guys. And they recently released, they're kind of called, sometimes referred to as fold over shorts or half pants but they're this really interesting item, so it's fun to experiment with. Um, retail is like 400 pounds from Dover Street Market, so being able to get them for just over $100. 
uh, with tags. Yeah, brand new is just absolutely amazing. Got them off grailed a few weeks back and have been wearing them like crazy whenever it does get warm enough out here. But pretty much it's these shorts that have like a 42 inch waistband or probably like a 50 inch waistband. But all of this excess here is brought in and folded across. So you don't have a pocket on the side of the shorts here. It kind of gives you a skill, a skilt. Oh my goodness, everyone end me right now. A skirt look or a kilt look, a little bit more feminine with that smoothness to one side. And it's really interesting because it has a pocket right in the middle here where the actual side of the pants were. And from what I can tell, it's actually that wide of a pant just folded over and sewn shut. Uh, very professionally, very well done. The waistband is beautiful. Everything to these, they have these beautiful uh, vertical stripes and just awesome. They sit kind of high on my waist. They have this beautiful triangular shape that comes out, uh, just like those Kiko shorts that I told you I'm so in love with. Um, I'm just really happy with the shorts I've been finding because in the past it's been such a struggle and I'll be sure to show you more in the future. But this is just the most brilliant item to showcase that whole designer level undercut the prices, just wait your turn and it will eventually come to you. Of course, another item that I am beyond excited to share with you, out of breath yet again, yet again because of it. This is a wrap item from uh, autumn of last year, so very, very recent, but as you'll see, and as many of you guys may have already seen already, uh, it's a very extravagant item, a very experimental item, fun, serious, uh, wild what was that where was i going with that oh yeah and also because it is this big knit it is a runway statement piece uh, it is this handmade beautifully crafted oh uh it is extraordinarily expensive and something that i wouldn't spend the money on but i might as well show you some suitcases just fell in the background it's this twin peaks vest right here very thick knit sweater huge v-neck brilliant colors oh my goodness absolutely love it the lettering. One of the most interesting things from this runway show, if you watch any of the behind the scenes footage, is that they just have this table of sweaters, these huge knits, and I don't even know how many letters sitting out there. Of course, some last minute work being done, color choices, whatnot. Anyway, an item that I'm really excited to have, I don't even know if it's worth holding up here because it's this giant rug poncho on me. Toss it to the side. Let's see, the collection. <sighs> Twin Peaks. Horror, Cindy Sherman. If you're interested in that sort of thing, then I'll leave some links down below because Cindy, the show, everything, it's its so interesting. Um, this I haven't worn with, okay, my mind's going on such a tangent here, it's crazy. Uh, but as far as uniforms go, I haven't really worn this. I just thought of, this was so interesting. I never ended up wearing this with my Anne de Moulemeester derbies, which uh, seems like it would add up being both huge Belgian designers but I've really worn them with like my trash docks that I wear out and wear to events and just like tear them up in disgust. And I think it's because I pair them with these short pleated trousers, my acne trousers, and it just like reminds me of the Jesuit high schools and the private high schools that surrounded uh, my public one. And they just had this sort of aura of being like so prestigious and so high up and get into college and have all these connections and whatnot. Wow, okay, who even cares? That piece, it's experimental, it's fun, it's beautiful. I love it on my long, lengthy self, love the colors. And it'll be super fun in the future, so it's this perfect item where it's a recent designer item uh, that I'm getting for way under retail, brand new. And yet, it is something that'll hold its value because it is a runway piece, it's something that people hold with high esteem. So I guess just due to the collectability, it's kind of this middle ground between that designer level ready to wear and more of an artisanal piece. And with that being said, I got Kaylee and I, don't tell her yet, cause she has no idea I'm gonna surprise her. Uh, she has kind of an idea. I got us some items from Undercover Spring Summer 2006. I might as well start with hers because it's how the show started and I think it's really interesting. So it is this deconstructed, maybe I should talk about the show. We'll get to it. It's this skirt that's made completely out of these deconstructed t-shirts. It was worn by the models in the very beginning of the show where they had this very eerie ritual going on, which led into the actual show inspired by all of these faux German, German, German progressive rock uh, images like all of the art on my shirt on this right here was just Takahashi's take on uh, Some album art from like the late 60s early 70s German progressive rock called Krautrock um, 
everyone refers to it as the Klaus collection, which it's just like everything runs so deep. I don't know how much more I should show you of this, but you have some sleeves in the background, waffle, normal t-shirts, a few prints, Von Frieden right here, which is also on my shirt. I might as well take it. Uh, but I don't really know where the original inspiration came from, but there's a guy called Klaus Schulze. I need my friend Max to help me with these little Swiss German boy. Need that man right now to help me with these pronunciations. <laughs> Earlier I mentioned Krautrock, which is this electronic, psychedelic, uh, very, very, very innovative and like ahead of its time, cosmic music. So right here you see Cosmisch Musik. Cosmische, oh my God, he's gonna kill me for that pronunciation. Uh, but I don't know, it's just really interesting because Klaus Schulze also has like a song titled Von Frieden, or he like had a different alias called Von Frieden. It's, it's just like unbelievable all that goes to it. I need to go consult with that boy one more time, uh, but that skirt is gonna be absolutely awesome. I don't know what it's gonna look like on her, but one of the brilliant things was how cheap that was because it just should not have been as inexpensive as it was. It's just that no one, uh, there aren't many girl collectors on the site. There's no one that's really buying them for their girl. So like that, the price on that is just absolutely brilliant. I'm so glad to have it here. Even if I didn't have Kaylee to put it on, I'd be wearing it right now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, boy. But this shirt is something I'm so excited about going into the summer and whatnot. It just, it's very pure, but it also has this like punk look to it. Um, a little bit futuristic, like that cosmic music. And yeah, telephone cord on the back, a few prints on the front. Has a little bit of a rip to it, but honestly, it looks so, so good there. That damage kind of goes against the whole third tier I mentioned before, artisanal, collectible, uh, what's it called? Self-actualization in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, that final frontier, the top right there but I could not be more excited going into the summer. It fits me absolutely brilliantly, this XL. Uh, just like very punk and very open and very aggressive, but also that white is just so elegant. Uh, it's a super good combination. The show was absolutely brilliant. I'm excited to have that skirt for Kaylee. And I guess those are just like the three levels that blend right into each other. You guys saw it, it's a spectrum where everything flows into it, but I guess that's just my take on a shopping secondhand, shopping peer to peer, and how I go about finding things that I like. I think it might have gotten a little bit too bright in that last clip, so sorry if it did. I'll hold this up for now, but that's gonna do it for me. I think a really good idea would be for me to link my wardrobe down below. If you guys want to uh, check out some things, I'll try and find some things in my size, in your guys' size, a bunch of array of things that I'm interested in, because right now it's piled up, it's crazy. And I think I can just link my wardrobe really easy. Those are all the items that I'm interested in on a site like Grailed. Oh, wow, I've just gotten really lucky these past few weeks. I think that's all it is, but this is all super fun stuff that I'm absolutely loving. Uh, it's pretty flattering on my body type, but honestly, that doesn't even matter. It's just like the story, the look, the feeling, everything, it just adds up. I can't stray my vision away from all these clothes around here uh, instead of looking at you guys, so I think that goes to show how, how uh, excited I am about these. But that's gonna do it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed these pickups and these shopping tips, if you wanna call it that. And I hope you guys enjoyed your stay and just hanging out. So until next time, everyone do me one last favor. Have a good day for me, you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!